everybody. Just when you thought it couldn't get any better. Today I'm going to do something in the kitchen. Uh, we're going to make, I'm going to make a uh, hash brown, that's easy for me to say. I'm going to make a hash brown bake and I'll show you how I do this. So step one, grab your frozen hash browns that have been defrosted. and dump them in your bowl. Then take half a cup of butter that's been melted. Get that in there. And then today, and it really just kind of depends on what you have in the fridge or what you've got around. Today I'm gonna to add ham. And I really like ham, so, and most of the household does too. You can put sausage or hamburger or, you know, whatever you've got around. Heck, you could probably even put bologna in there if you wanted to. And it just, uh, as far as the amount, uh, it just kind of varies on how much you want in there, really. Size of chunks, again, depends on, uh, you know, what, uh, what you prefer. If you want a more cubed or country style, uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the ham's already pre-cooked, so you don't have to worry about any diseases or anything like that. And I kind of like different sizes because then you'll get some that are crispy and some that aren't for a little bit of uh, variety. Get that in there. Then I've still got some left. I can make some ham sandwiches later. Uh, now the next thing, it does call for onions uh, in most recipes that you'll see for this. But I had some uh, leeks in the fridge that were starting to dry out. And they have a really uh, nice sweet taste. So I will just use those instead. And you want to chop these pretty finely. Now, if you've been watching a lot of food uh, shows and you want to critique my knife skills, I guess that's fine. But uh, I didn't measure it either. It's uh, roughly a half cup is what you're going for on this. It looks like a half cup to me. And then we need a can of cream of chicken. And this happens to be cream of chicken with herbs. Um, so you can spice it up a little bit. That's not a problem. And 
Again, if you're one of those people that really just like to follow recipes exactly, um, you're not gonna like the way I cook. Uh, this isn't baking, this is cooking. Baking is the science, so yes, you do have to follow uh, um, exact proportions. But this is cooking. It, it's, eat what you want. Then we add sour cream. Some pepper. And right in now we put in about a cup and a half of our shredded cheese. You want to save some for the end after you've baked it. To sprinkle on top. So we'll put about three quarters of it in there. And then save the rest for, uh, for when it comes out of the oven. And that's the basic recipe. Now, um, I can I like to add some other things. I'm gonna throw some mushrooms in here. Not everybody in my family likes mushrooms, so I can't add a ton, but I like mushrooms. Other thing that's nice to add is a pepper. So I'll put that in. Again, the, the size of your cuts really depend on are you trying to hide it from your kids uh, or, you know, what size do you prefer when you're eating. Um, that's generally how I do it. Or am I tired of cutting? Uh, that can change the size of them too. Gotta test it, make sure it's good. Oh yeah. A little bit of sweetness to these. You could also add salsa or rotel. You don't really, uh, sky's the limit on, on what you can put in here. Just depends on what your tastes are and what you're going for that day. Or, or what you have in the fridge that day. Goes all chopped in. Plus, it gives it a little bit of color, which isn't all bad. Move this out of the way. Grab a bigger spoon here, stir it up.
Seems like no matter what size of bowl you pick, you always got to pick the bigger one. Glad I grabbed this one. I was going to grab the one just smaller than it. There we go, looks mixed pretty good. Wash my hands off a little bit there. Then we grab our baking pan, hit her with a little nonstick. Okay, then just level this off. Doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. Then, uh, to bake, you will, uh, 45 to 55 minutes or so, depending on, on your oven, your altitude, all that good stuff. But basically, cook it till it's hot and bubbly. For me, for right now, I'm going to put uh, some aluminum foil or plastic wrap over the top of it, put it in the fridge, and then, uh, you know, an hour before everybody's ready to eat, I will put it in the oven and dinner will be ready. So thanks everybody for watching. As always, take care. Have a good day.